That fan is annoying. All right, today we're gonna be making some barbecue chicken nachos. Hint of lime chips, I've got regular chips. Yeah, uh, oh sh <laughs> I bought this tripod and I don't know how good it is because it just about fell. But yeah, my dad made some pretty good loaded nachos like a couple weeks ago. I was very thankful for him, but I'm just a huge fan of hint of lime chips and these like little mini chips. So they were like this, ah, I got them. But uh, yeah, so I told my family, I was like, hey, well, I'll make nachos. Well, my mom didn't believe me, so they started to cook spaghetti. But I was like, no, I really made nachos, so they're supposed to be coming out soon. So hopefully I can get these things cooked in time. If not, they'll just be here to watch. So yeah, we're gonna make some barbecue chicken nachos. Let's go. Well, it looks like I've already broke the tripod, so that's super duper fun. Um, yeah. So we got our first layer of chips down. We sprayed it with some on-stick cooking spray. We got our Tostito salsa con queso made with real cheese. And we're just gonna... Yes, sir. God dang, boy. I think I just got cheese on me. Um, We're actually just gonna use the whole can, whole jar. I'm getting cheese everywhere. Hmm. Should we get it all out? I'm getting cheese everywhere. I just opened this shirt, like, got it today. Yep, that looks like all of it. So we're done with that one. And because we like to, um, yeah. We're not finished. We are not finished. Okay, so Blanco dip. Gotta have your classic white case, so am I right? I know I'm right. We're just gonna generously just shake that money maker all over that, son. It's a good sound. All right, that can also empty. Done with that one. Back to the chip. Put another layer on. I'm gonna completely cover up all that queso, if possible. Oh Jesus Christ! I can't wait to clean up this mess. These hints of lime chips are just so good. Like, how could you not like them, honestly, Dad? <clears throat> They're so good. So kind of spread those out. Looks like that second layer is pretty much completely covered if I were to actually like take the time to move the chips, which is good. I will suck the skin off my fingers trying to get all that hints of lime taste. All right, now that we've got that, it's time to cheese it up again. But this time, we are not going to use queso. I'm not gonna say like I know this, from heart because I learned it from watching somebody else make nachos but the reason why we use queso on that first layer is because if we were to use shredded cheese throughout the whole thing and we cooked it the top is gonna cook first before that bottom cooks so if you're sitting here devouring some real cheesy goodness and then get to that second bottom layer it's not like all gonna be melted and that's not what we want we want melted cheesy goodness so now we're going to take some great value Fiesta blend that I just bought like an hour ago. And we are going to try and cover this whole first layer. If you have like artery problems and stuff like that, I wouldn't recommend this. Unless you're just kind of feeling, you know, risky. And you don't care about your health. Then by all means, please do this. Because it's your life. You can believe it how you want. So that is one whole bag of Fiesta Blend cheese. I bought two just in case. I think one might be enough. Uh, one thing that is always true though is there's never enough cheese. There's never too much cheese. That's not a thing. So there's always just never enough. So I think we're good. And then I got some Parmesan. We're gonna sprinkle that on top of the finished product when it's done to make it look real nice and give it a little bit more flavor. That should be 
enough cheese. I'm probably gonna add more just because you never want to not have enough cheese. But the nachos, so far so good. Now we gotta make barbecue chicken. So, I was gonna tell you guys a real easy thing to do. I was gonna get a rotisserie chicken at Walmart, but then my buddy Austin was with me, showed me they had this, and I've never seen this at Walmart before. Traditional pulled rotisserie seasoned chicken. It is already done for you. I'll just say get a rotisserie chicken, get the breast, shred it up, throw it in the bowl, add the barbecue sauce, but they already like did half of it for you. So we're just gonna take this chicken breast and we're going to throw it. I'm gonna need two bowls, huh? We're gonna throw it in this bowl. I bought two bags because I didn't know if one would be enough. Because it's better to have too much than not enough. Except if it's like something that's harmful for you. In that case, there's never enough cheese. Dang, this is actually a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and Microwave this, I think it said. You can stove top cook it or microwave it. Uh, who has time to stove top cook this? Uh, heat covered on high for 30 to 45 seconds or until warm. Do not overheat. I got some bad news. We are probably going to overheat it because I'm bad at this kind of stuff. So we're going to throw a paper towel over that and cover it. Cover. 45, start, and we'll see you when it's done. All right, 45 seconds later, and this chicken is actually like kind of moist, you know, as white people would call it. Kind of wet, kind of juicy, kind of dripping. Uh, but some of it's still a little cold. So I'm gonna do another 30 seconds because it's a big old bowl. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Boom, clank, clank. We're not gonna cover it because we're risky. I'm just gonna throw it and we'll be back. So for the most part, this is all pretty much done except for like this big piece is still cold. That one's still cold. So as you'd imagine, the big pieces are still kind of cold. But we're going to throw that chicken into our little five quart, five gallon, five quart, I don't remember, mixing bowl. That one's still like cold, cold like ice. Um, right, we're going to heat these up again. It really shouldn't matter because it's all going to get thrown in the oven at the end. But you also don't want to like kill your family with undercooked chicken. So yeah, that's kind of important. All right, the big pieces are now finished. Toss them in there. What the heck? Something just went clank clank over here, and I have no idea what. There's a squirrel outside getting his nut. All right, so so far we have that much. We're gonna shred it up. That might actually be enough, but there's a lot of nachos. So you're gonna want a lot of chicken to go with it. So we're gonna add more. Because once again, what if you're eating those? You're like, man, these nachos are good, but like it's the same chip. Oh, never mind, it's the same head of line flavor. That never gets old. But what if you just want a little bit more for whatever reason? Then you gotta make sure you have enough chicken. You got to. You got to. Oh my god, that's like a whole chicken. What the heck? They did not cut that one up. What in tarnation? Alright. See how much more we can fit in here. We're gonna microwave this for like six minutes because that's pretty much how long it took the other one. And there's big pieces. We're not gonna cover it because we're a wild man. Minute and 30 seconds because we do not listen to instructions. So I bought like this cutting board and there's like a mini one that came with it. I don't know which side is which. Like they're both curved on one end. So that chicken smells like it's gonna explode. Now they both have pads at the bottom. And this one has like a moat around it like to catch liquid or something, I'm not sure. So maybe that's the one I'm supposed to do. Maybe this one? They feel the same. Like I don't know which one is the right one. Oh, whoa, what is that? O-X-O. O-X-O. Right, they both have it, so I'm guessing both are right. We're not gonna worry about that little juice catcher thing. Actually, we will? Yeah, we will, just in case. So we're just gonna take like the bigger pieces of chicken. If I don't open that door now, that microwave will be for like another minute. It is annoying. Oh yeah, that chicken is done. Big ones? Big ones are not done. What the heck? After all that. They're still cold. Alright, that is done. 
These are not done. So we're going to microwave them a little longer. Uh, 44, that sounds good. I am using paper towels left and right when I already have several paper towels. My goodness. So, cutting board. And what do you use a cutting board on? Or what do you use on a cutting board? One of these bad boys that I haven't even opened yet. I got like a month or two ago. So I've been, like I said, I've been watching a lot of cooking stuff and I'm trying to cook more because A, it's like kind of cool being able to cook. Like, you just whip up something crazy and you get to eat it too. That's like the best part. The part that kind of sucks though is like making it because it's like, man, look at all this work I gotta go through to make these loaded nachos. It's gonna be good in the end, 100%, but like, right now it's kind of whack. I think the worst part though is like the dishes. But thank God for the dishwashers. Can I get this thing open? Thank you. Throw the trash on the floor. So I'll pick it all up later. I think I gotta take the trash out. Boop. Please leave reviews at your convenience. Uh, we'll see about that one, buddy. So, we got this knife. Oh, baby. Look at this. It was some cheap Amazon knife, but. It looks cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to like sterilize your blade and a bunch of other stuff and put it through some fire and all that kind of good stuff. And since I literally just opened this out of the package and you want to make sure like it's good, it's sharp, you want to make sure it doesn't have uh, anything on it because you literally just opened it out of the package, Mason. But we're not going to do any of that. Instead, we're going to kind of put some Dawn dish soap on it, wet it, make sure we wipe all that dish soap off because we don't want soapy chicken. And then we're going to get to work on this bad boy. I'm really hoping my family doesn't like come yet until the nachos are done because it's just going to be real awkward me trying to record this and then watching me. It's just going to be real awkward. Um, is this thing sharp? Sure, why not? All right. Dish soap is off. Uh, I've never really. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh! It is just shredding that chicken, son. It's almost like a kitchen knife is supposed to do that. I could usually, uh, usually I could actually probably just like rip this up with my hands, and it'd be a lot easier. But I didn't buy this knife for nothing, son. Look at it. That's so cool. I'm getting excited over something that probably everybody's done. But, hey, you get it where you can. Like yesterday, I installed for the first time in my life, uh, like a blackout curtain for my window. Because, like, sometimes my schedule's all wonky and I need to be able to sleep in the morning. And my current curtains are trash and the sun just comes through. So I installed some blackout curtains. That was the first time in my life I've ever done something like that. Which is weird because I'm 23 years old and... It's not very good for me to say, I guess, you know? I should be changing car batteries and doing all kinds of other stuff, but hey, it is what it is. We're all different lives, so. But I thought it was cool that I, I did that. Um, I hope people that watch this don't actually, like, cook regularly or professionally, because I would be getting judged hardcore on what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I think, I think we're good. And it's not really shredded chicken, it's more diced chicken at this point. But, it is what it is. Put that in there. I feel like I'm doing something cool or important. That's what matters. One of those is still cold, but we won't tell anybody. It's gonna get baked anyways. Hopefully long enough. It's where we don't get cinnamon roll or whatever that disease is. Also, these Kitchen Impossible, or I say these Kitchen Impossible, like there's multiple. I literally did one two weeks ago. There's just not as many jokes, you know? It's kind of more serious. It's like I'm an adult now or something. I don't know, it's weird. But, we can still throw the jokes in. Like, what is the deal with airline food? Aha! But we're just going to cut this up. Dice it up. Boom. Oh, get the excess chicken in there. Throw my knife somewhere random. And boom. 
Dump that in there. Um. Yeah, there's still more chicken. So, you know what we gotta do? I'm gonna cut this part though because it's just gonna be doing the same thing I did for like the past five minutes, which is boring. So we'll be back. Okie dokie. I just take the trash out. I also need to take a poop, but I don't have that kind of time. So, yeah, and if I was smart, I would have just done all this chicken stuff first, but that's a big old if, and I am not, so it is what it is. I'm trying to cut that big piece of chicken I just put up in there instead of cleaning on the cutting board and doing it, because I am I'm just a wild one. Get in there, cut what we can, get in there, cut what we can. All right, I'm also a dummy, because I just realized I only bought one thing, a barbecue sauce, and I bought a lot of chicken. So, okay, I'm recording, thank God. We got some Kraft Turkey Smoke. Uh, they had this, they had Kraft Regular, or Original Barbecue Sauce. Uh, then they're like, there was a lot of people down the condiment aisle, and I was like not trying to have that much human interaction. I was just trying to get my stuff and get the heck out. I will clean that, put it over there. Move that in camera, right? E now it is. All right, so barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. We're going to take my Fitbit off because A, I don't want to get it dirty, and B, there's nothing to record that's healthy about this. I'll set in my room. So we got the barbecue sauce, but we need to add some of that and some of that. We're going to add some great value ground cumin or cumin, sorry. Add some of that. And by some, I mean a lot. Makes it kind of spicy. Boom. We're going to add some great value chili powder because A, makes it kind of spicy. That's good. My dad does not like spicy stuff because I was going to add some like like some of the world's hottest hot sauce on there. But my dad doesn't like hot sauce, so I can't do that. Then my personal favorite, the chili lime seasoning. This stuff is so good. Um, do all that. And then of course, you gotta add the classic salt and pepper. Because if not, the ghost of Aunt Jemama will haunt you. And we do not want that. Is the salt? Looks like salt. All right, salt, pepper, all that other good stuff. Now the fun part, the reason why I took my watch off, is we get to mix all this, and it's gonna get dirty. So we just get in there with our hand, mixing it, making sure we get those seasonings and the spices all around. Get the barbecue sauce everywhere. Oh yeah, there's. You hear that sound? That sounds like a good night. Yes, sir. Listen to that. Like macaroni getting made. Mixing this all around. Like I said, if I was smart, I would have done the chicken stuff first. That way I could have added chicken to that bottom layer of nachos as well, which would have been super good. But hey, <laughs> we'll learn. It's my first time making loaded nachos like this. So uh, I actually think... There's also never enough barbecue sauce or never enough sauce, but I, I feel like that's a, a really good amount of sauce right there. So, yeah, we should be done with that. All right. Now, all we gotta do is daggum billy darn add this to the nachos. I need to wash my hands, so we'll be right back. So, there may and or may not have been just a little bit of a mix up on something. I'm hoping not. Because if so, it'll make me a very sad person. But hopefully we didn't lose any footage. But now, we're just going to take that chicken. Use our hands. Because we've already used our hands. I literally washed my hands because I had to check on something on my phone. And then I just get them dirty again. But it is what it is. Just throw it. Throw that shredded chicken. Those whole chicken chunks, actually. That diced chicken. There's really nothing shredded about this. So I lied to my parents when I said I was making shredded... Or I didn't actually tell them what. All I told them was I had shredded chicken. I didn't tell him I was making barbecue chicken nachos, so it's still going to be a surprise. Hopefully this turns out well, man. My goodness. 
with me buying this like semi cooked chicken. Oh man, hopefully we don't all get cinnamon roll. Alright, we're just gonna scoop that out because it's taking too long. Somebody outside cutting their grass. Oh, also, I hope that fan is not too loud because for whatever reason, it is like ungodly hot in this house. Like super hot. And yeah. So I gotta have that fan on because I don't know if the AC is not on or what, but Jesus, it is hot in this house. I guess we gotta save money there, so that is important. Alright, that's pretty much all the chicken. We got it quote unquote shredded, diced, tossed, whatever, salad. Um, back there. Wash my hands. My washing I just need to run water on them. Oh man, shredded chicken did not get on there. Alright. We did that. Done my family. I don't know if my family's got it or not. So we got all that. Now we are going to add where to go. Oh actually, perfect. I've had this thing of queso blanco cheese dip in the fridge that I've been dipping like everything in, so hopefully there's no like backwash in it. We're just gonna sprinkle some on the top. Cause I don't want to open that whole another thing of queso. Put some in the middle. That is time to get retired. And don't do a star. Here it is. Like I said earlier, never enough cheese. We might actually. No, this thing's gonna be busting out the top. Say so we could just add like another layer of chips on top, but it's already like piled high, or quote unquote piled high. We're still gonna add more stuff. I don't have any. Actually, I think there might be some in the fridge. I don't think I have any jalapenos. But also gonna take my family into consideration because some of them don't like spicy stuff. <coughs> Dad. <clears throat> All right, cheese. There we go. That looks delicious. All right, we did that. Now we're going to add one of my personal favorites: hot banana pepper rings. So something sort of kind of hot. Oh, hot! Gosh, diddly dang it! I have to cut the plastic piece around it. One day, I will learn how to be a functioning adult. Today is not that day. There we go. Plastic off. I just love the taste of banana peppers. I think it was back in like middle school or high school when I finally tried them for the first time. Because they came with like, uh, like the club sandwich days or like the sub sandwich days they would do. I would try them. Or I never would get them. So one day I tried them, you know, the first, you know, Jesus Christ, form a sentence, Mason. You never try them until you do, you know what I'm saying? So I finally tried it. I was like, man, these things are good. And I noticed like, hey, we had some at home. And I was like, hey, mom, dad, I love these things. They're like, oh, you didn't like them before. I'm like, yeah, but now I do. So uh, this is probably too much because I don't really know anybody else in my family that likes them. So they can just kind of eat around them. I also don't know how well they're going to do going in the oven, so I probably should have waited to put this on, but like I said, I'm not a smart man. If I was, this would be going a lot smoother. Alright, I also should have preheated the oven, which I didn't do, because I'm not a smart man. There's my arm part of it. We're going to bake for hundo. Boom. Preheat oven. There's plastic on my foot. Uh, I took the trash out, take this opportunity to throw some of this stuff away while we wait for that to heat up. Oh, this glass doesn't break. I don't think it did. It's good enough for me. And we still have a whole other bag of chips, a whole other thing of queso, more cheese. So we even have like 
extra stuff to make nachos later, just in case. So, I overbought, but it's better to do that than underbought. You know what I'm saying? I swear it sounds like somebody pulled up. Like, is my family here, or are they not here? They're not here, which is black because I called them like an hour ago or so. I was like, hey, I'm making nachos. My dad's like, all right, we'll be right out. And they, they're not right out. But it also gave me my buddy time to open my new mystery box of magic cards I got, so that's pretty cool. No mana crypts, but I got a lot of value, so. Got like probably 200 bucks back in value, so that's pretty cool. You guys don't care though, you guys don't play magic together. Um, is the oven gonna beep when it's on 400, or is it like already there? I'm really not an adult. Good lord. Um, I guess we can kind of pick this up. Please don't fall, camera. Noise. Ah! There's my toes. Pay money for those. I am a rapper. But, yeah, this thing, I, I broke it. I already broke it. I tell you what. Goodness gracious. But, yeah, that's what we're working with. Yes, sir. Then, when they come out the oven, we're going to add the rest of the stuff to the top. And then I'm going to say, hey, you bozos better get the hook out here because we're about to eat some nachos, babe. All right. Oh, uh, we don't have a house phone, so all I have is my phone. So I'm probably going to call my family, let them know these bad boys got to cook for 10 minutes, and then they're ready to go. So, yeah, I will see you after I call my familia. Boop. All right, called my mom. They are about to head this way. Um... That kind of feels like 400, but I don't really know. Um, yeah, is this light enough I can grab with one hand? Uh, we're not going to risk that biscuit. We'll be right back. All right, yeah, I didn't want to risk grabbing that with one hand because it was like kind of hefty. My legs and my feet, that is so gross. Uh, but yeah, it's in there. We're going to let it cook for 10 minutes. Can I do that, right? Uh, timer. 10. Set. Nope. Jesus. Timer. Ten. Right. And does it just automatically start? Oh, yeah, it does. Cool. All right. Ten minutes. Uh, we'll be back. Then we're gonna add the good stuff, and they should be here in about 15, 20 minutes. So yeah, we'll be good to go. We'll see you then. All right. So the semi-finished product. And then my family. Just got here, and they got some taco salsa, or sauce. I'm gonna add that, that should be done. Why do you take pictures of everything? It is done. <laughs> what did you put on me? All right, let's dig in. If I die, if this is poisoning in it. All right, Louie, what do you think? Mm. Melina, what do you think? Good. Dad, what do you think? Very good. Mom, what do you think? Very good. It tastes like chicken. You don't just have to tell me that. <laughs> so there's bottom layer was hint of lime chips with uh, the white queso and then some cheddar queso, then more hint of lime chips, and then what is this sprinkle cheese, here? chicken, where it was barbecue shredded chicken, what else? Uh, banana peppers, more cheese. And then I sprinkled the guacamole salsa, regular taco sauce, sour cream, and uh, sprinkled some Parmesan cheese on top. Very good. Mm -hmm. well, that chicken might not be cooked. Oh, man. I don't think it is. I tried. Mm -hmm. Hope y'all enjoy. <laughs> How much you end up keeping? Like six or seven hours. All right, Owen, what do you think? I can just imagine. How was it? I think I want to go home. How was it, Owen? Hey, Owen. It's all right. For Kitchen Impossible, how was it? Oh, my gosh. It was good. Owen, you look like you're enjoying it. <laughs> Did you like it? This fat bastard give it two thumbs up. He got a second plate, so I think yes. It's all right, Mason. Good I can't job. afford, bud. Good job.